Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Top of the Funko Pops week. Before we get on with this week's episode, I don't know if I'm going to thank him or if I'm going to apologise for the language he used, but I hope you enjoyed uh, Belly Pops episode yesterday. Not a YouTuber, so it's fantastic that he took the effort and took the time to make that for me. And if you didn't see the little after credits at the end with his new updated view, then you really should do that. Um, but onto this, I nearly said this week, it's such a, I'm doing so many of these episodes, I know. Onto today's episode, because they're all from this week, and how do I introduce this one? I don't really think there's anything more to do than just say, cue titles. Hello. Hi. I'm Sean. I'm Joanne. We are Scabra Couple and today we invade the Pop-Tarts YouTube channel for this special Freddie Mercury edition of Top of the Funko Pops. Oh yes. <laughs> there is only five Freddie Mercury Pops so there's nothing that's not made the cut. Isn't that a kind of magic? <laughs> mm. Right, shall I start with the um Yes, in no particular order. Yeah. Uh, outfit, here it is. That's a wonderful pop. It is. Maybe it's such a simple attire as well, but it's one that iconic. has... Iconic. Yeah, Sorry. it's become I very can't... iconic, I was going to say. And the pop itself, obviously, from Live Aid, and he is doing Radio Gaga. <laughs> right, so, next. Yeah. Uh, we have he, Freddy's uh, 70s concert outfit. Yeah. Oh, leotard. Indeed, very skin tight. There it is. So one that is obviously famous more, uh, for doing like uh, Bohemian Rhapsody in there and all these early 70s songs. 70s songs, <laughs> should I say. With his lovely long hair and no moustache. No. No. <laughs> right, and then next we have another, although all Freddy's outfits are iconic really, aren't yeah. they? His uh, yellow jacket outfit from... One of the concerts, or just generally most more, of the concerts. Yeah, more famously known for Wembley, but a lot of these uh, costumes, I think costumes, attires are worn throughout a lot of the shows, uh, mm -hmm. depending on, I guess, the set of songs they're doing. They all represent different things. It's all good. <laughs> Definitely one of these more famous ones, and one that you'll probably see a lot of people cosplaying as too. Yeah, and the next pop we have, we have the Diamond Collection Freddy in another outfit from one of the concerts. Yes, all glittery. <laughs> yeah. We are showing these in box as they've never been out of box because we do love Queen and it's a precious collection, isn't it? <laughs> it is. We'd hate to, for these to <laughs> suddenly get dropped out of box or damaged in any way, so hopefully you can see them just fine there as we well. Go. And last but certainly not least. Oh, yeah is one of his, probably one of his most famous outfits. It's King Freddy, him in his crown. Indeed. An there attire that suited him ever so well. I know. Because he's a king. It is. He is. <laughs> there we go. I hope you can all see those. Yeah. This is really heavy, this pop. But mm. it's a, a really good pop, that. Oh, it is. And it's one that hopefully we'll, we'll can try and find another one to have out of box as well. Because yeah. the detail on it, even the crown and the attire and everything, from what we can see, um, is really good. I like the way they've got his, uh, his uh, chest hair. <laughs> chest, oh, yeah. Detail on the chest hair. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that yeah. is our five. Now, we're going to call... We, uh, so we're going to decide what you can put in the comments as well to pick for them. <laughs> the, um, what not? Words are difficult sometimes. <laughs> right, so this one, uh, in the comments, put Freddy Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> You're just coming up with those off the top of your head. Yeah. Uh, this one. Uh, you put Freddy 70s. Yeah, I was just going to say Freddy 70s. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one. Uh, we could have Freddy Glitter. Yeah, Freddy Glitter. <laughs> no, not Freddy Glitter. No. <laughs> um, Freddy Diamond. Freddy Diamond. I think that's a safe name. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one. Freddy Wembley. Yeah, Freddy Wembley. Yeah. And this one. Obviously, King Freddy. King Freddy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Excellent. And that's that. So, thank you for watching this. Big thank you to Lee for letting us invade his channel <laughs> yep. for a little bit. <laughs> um, well, what's your favourite Freddy Pop? Make sure to vote in the comments and then you'll see us in the next Top of the Funko Pops cheesily holding the winner once we know <laughs> what's won. Mm. But anyway, I've been Sean. I've been Joanne. We've been Scarborough Couple. Oh, choking on my own words. <laughs> Reminding you to keep popping <laughs> and we'll see you not on our own channel. <laughs> you threw me there. I mean, yeah, not literally, but also on, on our, our own, own channel <laughs> yeah. in our next one. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Scarborough couple. And all the Freddies. Aye. Out. Out. So there you go guys, um, I didn't realise there was that many Freddie Mercury Funko Pops, I'm not going to lie to you, I thought they'd be using the sodas as well because I know they've got the chase in the common. So really cool seeing those, I'm not going to let you know my vote just yet, I'll put it in the comments as I have been, but massive thank you Sean and Joanne for putting that together, really appreciate it and the results from that episode will be in the big results show which will be a week on Friday. Um, in the meantime, tomorrow's episode, if you're sticking with me for the week, which I really really hope you will, is from a channel you might not know if you're from the UK community, but a channel I'm hoping will get some really good views and some support from this because it's a fantastic guy, Obi the Kid, um, someone who I've become good friends with over the last few months and got to know quite well, and hopefully you will as well. So that's coming up tomorrow. One last big thank you to Joanne and to Sean for putting this one together, like I said, and if you didn't know what to do already for Top of the Funko Pops Week, for all the episodes, well, I'll let these guys let you know, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it is I, Jürgen. Don't forget the bolt. Boom! I am Groot. Get over to the Pop Charles channel, and don't forget to vote. All right? This nut is going to come and get ya. Don't forget to vote. Do it now. Leroy Scribbles, Abigail Barry, telling you... It's not. Not voting... It's not a rebellion, it's a surrender. A rebellion, which is um, a thing for Star pop star. <laughs> pop star. <laughs> um, yes, horses have left, left, lost their lives because you haven't voted. Yep, um, so you've got to vote on this. Um, it's, Don't burn your bras. No, burn the bras. Oh, burn People them. burn your bras. <laughs> Do you start again, very good. Vote, vote now. They, Lee needs your vote. I don't know who you're voting vote. for. Just vote. Um, vote. That's about vote. It, what it? are we voting for? I have no idea. Oh, vote anyway. Just vote. Hi everyone, it's Wayno from Wayno's World of Pops. Just remember, don't forget to vote.